Number two, on the hands of people who solved it. People solved it in a day. People solved it, okay, all right, never mind. Let's just take a it. All right, would you mind messing that up for me, please? I do this in a lot of places. I perform uh, with my company, Shakespeare and Hip Hop, at schools all across New England, um, K-12, and I try to do this piece as an example of what we all could do. Growing up, this was like one of my lifetime achievements. Before I go off this earth, I gotta figure this little piece of plastic out. You know, it boggles my mind. I used to solve one layer, and uh, you know, the whole thing came to a head when I did something crazy to get myself on the flight. I was getting to the airport about 20 minutes before the flight was going to leave because that. And I was just like, I called the airport. And this is where I'm going carry his own white man at a meeting. No, you don't no, miss this meeting. It's absolute, no, that is unacceptable. And I got there, and they go, hey, are you Marlon Carey? And I go, yeah, I'm Marlon Carey. And they go, hey, come this way. And they led me through his thing, and then the door was closed, and they went, Shh. And let me on the plane. I don't know if that happened to you, but. It was amazing to be able to get on the plane with like 10 minutes to go because I pretended to be somebody important from Hollywood. But I sat next to, you know, this is about pushing ahead. It's about doing what people think you shouldn't be, you know? And I sat next to these two gentlemen and they both worked for Porsche, it turned out. And they were playing around with the cube and they were testing another, a minute, a minute. And I go, whoa, my lifelong dream of doing like a minute? It was freaky. So they showed me some pretty simple steps that I don't know what I already knew. And when I get home, I had to do it, thank you. So, I a little more. One day I was uh, at home practicing for a poetry slam, this new poem I had about time. And my friend goes, whoa, are you practicing a poem while doing a room? He was like, yeah, why not, dude? And so it was like, that's cool. So, if everything works out, and the stars are aligned, and you guys give me some good energy, I should be able to do this little demonstration of what we all can do. You know, I don't think I'm a genius. I really feel that we are all capable. I'll give you, I can leave with you. I'll teach you this. Um, yeah, it's an example of what we can do. So whatever you do from here on in, know that nothing, nothing is impossible. Y'all believe me? And on the count of three, end of the year. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like we're always wasting time. Buying time. Spending time on trying to borrow some time, but these days, time is money. I heard somebody say that money is time. Now, money doesn't grow on trees, but it is the root of all evil. People who have a lot of money seem to have all the time in the world, don't they? But money isn't everything. Time is of the essence. And essentially, in order to get more time, I gotta have lots of money. But in order to get more money, I gotta spend time. So time is the most valuable currency. I would like to share time, but I have no spare time, not even time enough to make change or change the world or change my mind. Time is running out. There's never enough time. Getting a college degree takes too much time and plus too much money. So some kids do crime and end up locked up serving time for stealing money, doing a hard time. For the same amount of money it will cost to get them a college degree. But outside the prison gates, hunger eats away at the walls of the child's stomach. Daddy worked overtime this week. But the company accountant took some well-deserved time off to get some Tea time and time with the kids. You'll get your check in new time. Meanwhile, I'm standing in the lunch line trying to find a moment to write a rhyme, and I find I have no time for writing lines. I'm sneaking off to the men's room to steal a few minutes of my boss's time, realizing I'll probably never have enough time. Because when I sounded out the line, I signed away all my free time. So now my time exists before nine and after five. And some nights I was there so way past nine. So I never had time to spend with my friends. And though I was chasing the Benjamin somehow. I never had any ends to spend. We finally did carve out a few minutes from our busy days, and then we would simply coalesce around a common thread and coexist inside the haze. While we made the minutes, discussing the disgusting parts of our dismal existences, punching in, punching out, serving time. Prisoners, trapped inside the hourglass, choking on the sandstorm of possibilities, but should we all go back in time and remind ourselves to take the time to appreciate the gift of time? And right now, it's for all the time outs, the time on stage, studio time, the time and time again, bad time, and absent minded time spent wondering, will I get my big break this time? Should I just throw in the towel and resign and get back on my grind? Should I get all up to waste their time and try to make up for lost 
time. Just yesterday, y'all, I looked up in the sky and I saw a sign. It was a blip proclaiming the world is mine. I thought, well, it's about us. <laughs>